Join me in this video to see if I can fix this Philips CD recorder. It's a standalone separate and I believe it's a multi-disc version as well. So it has a free disc caddy. No, it doesn't work. I've got it very cheap on eBay. Let's, uh, let's see why. Right, first to get inside. It's a little bit mucky looking. It looks well weathered along there. And it's huge. I wasn't quite expecting it really to be quite as big as that. So this is what it is, a CDR802. It's a little bit like the, um, the other one that I looked at on my channel. It's got double speed recording. It says it's an audio CD recorder, audio call with bit sync for true copies. Free CD changer for fast and easy compilations. What I like about the front of this is all the controls are there. You probably get away without the remote unless you want to um, do some text possibly, but even that might be possible on this. Not too sure, but anyway, this is what we have. It's, it looks a little bit like a um, VCR, a VHS um, recorder in its size anyway, the dimensions of it, it's uh, pretty hefty. Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't let you record MP3. It is only playback. It's this line expanium as well. So it does take an auxiliary input by the looks of it. That's, um, Turn it round. I did think it looked a little bit kind of scratched from the top, but a bit of paint would be fine on there. A bit of spray actually, a bit of spray paint, silver spray paint. Yeah, maybe it's been taken apart. I wouldn't be surprised. Someone's probably had a go at fixing it. So it's how many watts? 18 watts. Not much different to the mini disc deck I've been looking at and we've got optical in as well and coaxial oh no we've got coaxial in and coaxial out and an optical in that makes sense and we have analog oh analog in and out try switching that on i could hear something then so Ooh. welcome to philips audio insert disc. So what I'm interested in is does this open? And it does. And that seems to work quite nicely doesn't it? Not for seeing it's not gonna heal anything, nothing in there. Let's try this side. Little bit slow, wasn't it going in? It wants me to insert this though, so let's at least do that. So yeah, number one there. watching the display so it's trying to work out what's got the disc oh okay that's free so how do we select the disc on on here oh there's buttons here okay so I need to press one Oh, it's found something.
Doesn't mean it wants to play it. But it is. Okay, that's good. Okay. Oh, that's a jog. So there's a jog here. Can you see that? Okay, that seems reasonable, doesn't it? Let's stop. Let's take the same CD out a minute. So let's um, open. And close. Let's try just putting a standard CD into the recorder part. So these will, they should play on this side as well. I want to play on this side. Okay, this side seems to be that's not working. We've got now there's quite a lot of surface mount capacitors here. These can go bad, they might look okay, but they can go bad. And sometimes applying a bit of heat will. Wake things up a bit. God, there's a load on this board. And equally, there's some on the on this as well. So I suppose the first thing to do anyway is just to give it a gentle clean in here. I've not got anything on this at the moment. I'm just gonna give it a gentle clean. I don't think it's gonna really well, because I don't want to put alcohol on it because sometimes it'll take the, the sort of tint, the blue tint off. Don't really want to do that. Maybe a little bit's come off, who knows? All right, let's uh, power back in. And on. Yeah, you can hear it. Even though this is off. <laughs> Just checking the belt. Okay, let's get this. A little bit closer. Okay, let's um, avoid looking at the lens. It gives up pretty quick, doesn't it? Okay, so I took a picture of this as it was seeking and it does emit light. Now, obviously I'm not gonna get right over it to see how bright it is, but it does emit some light. Whether or not it's enough is another thing. Now, I wonder if I can Google about this pickup head because if I could source a similar one, then that might be something worth trying before going down the route of changing capacitors. What I think I might do is just stick something in the other side to play, because that means that the electronics are warming up anyway. And here we go. Okay, so that is playing, that's definitely playing. Now I suppose that would probably 
make it more likely that there is an issue on the on this particular board if there is a um, issue with capacitors it's more likely to be perhaps on, on the board of this writer I mean e equally as well it's probably been used a lot yeah so that's obviously going to have an impact on uh, on this whether or not it can uh, lock in and read We look closer at this, you can see there's quite a lot of dust and it's quite centered towards the laser. You can see it on the uh, black surround, you can see it on the metal there. So even though you could clean the surface of the lens, there's a good chance some of that crud is actually underneath. So my only hope is probably some canned spray. If I just pull that slightly, you probably can't see on on here, but I could see the mirror underneath, and it does look to have crud on it. Now I've got some compressed air. Let's see it better now. Do it from this side. Okay. Let's push that back in gently into place. All right, power back on. Proper CDR. No, because I think if it was a regular CD, it would at least. Play it, wouldn't it? It would read it. Popped off the uh, front there and the four retaining screws. So let's slide that back in. Okay, so we've got some ribbons to kind of take off. Four screws to keep keep them all together. So I suppose the first thing to check is just check the Cable's okay, it looks alright. The edge connector. So we've got quite a few surface mount components on here. I just wonder if any of this is adjustable. Is there any way to adjust the power to the laser? That's probably. the approach I should definitely look at first. Maybe even the height of the tray in relation to this head assembly. It's how is it mounted? Is it just oh it's just these kind of clip things here. So it's in a fixed position. It's not adjustable. Sniff. Need to have a better look at that board. It's just a couple of screws. 
these actually. Wow, quite a crowded ball with this one. Doesn't look to be any adjustment at all. This is the head connector here. So the only adjustment would be maybe somewhere I can't see on the assembly itself. So the other approach is just go to change this part. So it's a 1505.1 and then 1213. E143838-1VC, 58.72. And then there's even more numbers, 00771. 0, 02174 Then the final number is 9305 0, 011 24252. I'm looking at a 22010 volt on this other board and it looks they all look quite flat. And these I don't know if it's the design of them. They look slightly raised. I'm just going to give it a final blast down through here. <laughs> 